Hello friends, today our topic is communication between two PLC. In this picture you can see there are two PLC, a delta PLC and we will communicate with each other. And communication protocol will be RS485 communication. And by this RS485 communication, you can communicate to PLC around one kilometer distance. Okay, so let's start. First, you have to go to VPL software. Okay. And I will select one memory M. 1002, I will select the on, on only for one scan after run. Okay. So, you have to go on help and search plc link by plc link function we can communicate to plc and more than to like 16 session we can communicate 16 plc with each other okay so you also open the manual okay same this is the same view in your software. So, this is a master PLC data registers, and this one is a slave data register. Okay, and you can see if you say master PLC is slave ID1. Okay, and there are 16 registers from D1480 to D1495. You can read out the data from this register. And same hand, writing register is from 1496 and D1511. This is the writing registers. Okay. This is the master side data register. And this is a slave side data register. You will communicate two PLC by two wires. Positive one is connected to other positive one, and negative is connected with negative point. Okay. So in the manual, uh, you can see all the data register and memories. Example point. And go to example and this one so in this example connect one master PLC with two slave by RS485 and exchange 16 data between master and slave through a PLC link in this lecture I will tell you how to program master PLC and two slave PLC in VPL okay so first open and first in in this window i will program master plc okay and you have to move k1 to d1121 You have to simple use move. Okay, you can see the PLC communication address. According to this command, I have set the master PLC address K1. K1 is the our master PLC address. Okay. After it, you have to open your com2 com for RS485. So, you have to move H86 value in D1120. This is a RS485 communication at PLC COM2 position. And this is a 86 value. In my previous lecture, I have told you, you have to select ASCII mode, RTU mode, 
8 bit data same setting you have to done in your slave plc so first we will do a master plc programming after it, i will tell you about slave plc programming okay now you have to set set i will use set command m 11 2 0 it will set the your your, your setting in d double one 11 20 so next uh, you can see this is a D1434. You can see number of data. I will, if I want to read 16 data, I will move in this data register 16 value. If I want to read like 10 values of data register, then I have to move 10 value in this data register. So in this tutorial, I, I will read 16 data. So I will move 16 value move 16 value in d1434 okay and same hand for writing you have to use d1450 so I will move move sixteen value in D. You can see here fourteen hundred fifty. Fourteen hundred fifty. Okay, I have selected in master PLC. So for other PLC, slave ID 2, I will use other data register 1435 and 1451. So for second slave ID number 2 of PLC I want to read 16 data register so I will move 16 value in 1435 so same and writing move case 16 to D1451 ok this is for second slave ID PLC so after it I will now set the PLC link so you have to set memory M50 1350 and you can see the enable the function of plc link you can see the command by this command your plc will activate the function plc link and other one is sorry set m1351 okay it will enable auto mode on plc link so in by this setting now my master plc is ready and we will ready to communicate the other two slave id id1 and id2 slave plc for communication by plc link and last one is you also have to move two value because i have to slave id plc in D 
1399. Okay, assigning ID number of the station. Slave on PLC link network. So my master PLC is ready and you can see in the manual in master PLC if I want to read the slave PLC ID 1 I will write the value D1480 okay so this is a your master PLC data registers and this one is a your slave PLC data register for communication for read and write okay so I will code okay this is the enough programming for master PLC communication by PLC link no you have to go to for other PLC your slave ID one PLC just to have to move simple again for slave ID number one PLC M one seven two first I will give the ID of slave to PLC move K2 the save ID to to D1121 okay and second for activation of the COM2 RS45 same like station master PLC move hexa value 86 hexa value to D1120 so now by this programming in slave ID number 2 you can communicate the master PLC by PLC link function now you can move the value I will move the sum value in D100 and this value will be shown in D1480. Okay. So if I move move the value like K500 in D100 data register. So in this station I have to move the value D100 I have to move the K500 is the 500 value to D data register D100 automatic in your master PLC value will be show in D1480 okay a fast slave ID 1 fast slave ID 2 for writing the value if you write the value in D1400 96 automatic value will be moved in D200 okay so by easy link PLC is a very usable for communication between two PLC and you easily communicate the very distant like one kilometer 500 meter each other PLC easily can communicate with each other okay if you have any question in this lecture you can raise a question in the comment box our team will be give the answer as soon as possible. Okay, bye.